Welcome to Alec Krulik's Magic Submitter Software. I'm David Sprague and I'll be teaching you about spin technology in this training. And the reason it's the first training is I think it's important because every single piece of content that you send out, should you should do your best to make sure that it's 100% unique. And in order to do that, you can do it the hard way, which is spend countless amounts of hours creating every single item in a unique fashion, or you can simply use spin technology. So let's jump into what different technology you would actually use when it comes to spinning. First of all, there are a lot of different software out there, but another great software that Alex Krulik, which is the developer of Magic Submitter, actually designed is called Magic Article Rewriter. And the beautiful thing about Magic Article Rewriter is it allows you to actually do three levels of spinning and do some really cool stuff that makes spinning super easy. But some of the spinning syntax that you'll need to use is simply the squiggly line left, a pipe, which is a straight line, and then a squiggly line parentheses right. And so it, you see the example here, company business. Now, every time this would be submitted, it would randomly choose between company and business, company and business. So you could manually do this if you wanted to, but it's so much easier to use a great program like Magic Article Rewriter. So let's jump into Magic Article Rewriter and show you how it works. So you can see here, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's not a lot of buttons or bells and whistles. I'm just simply gonna go right now and create, let's say, a title. Let's say I was doing some local marketing for a dentist in Atlanta. So let me see, my title is gonna be um, a Best Dentist That um, You Can Find in Atlanta. Now, uh, and let me just put GA too. Now that would, let's say that is the title of my blog, title of my article, title of my video, whatever it might be. I can actually do a couple things. First of all, I can highlight the entire thing and I'm simply gonna hit this spin article. And because it's an entire phrase, I can put more phrases in here. So I can actually go in and put, um, 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 uh, you know, three ways to find a great, dentist in Atlanta and then I hit enter and you can see Matt oops let me redo that that it automatically will add it to your first sentence and automatically include all the spin syntax so now all I have to do is simply take a look at it and you can see now that it's in blue now I can go back in here. Now this is what would be considered, if you look down here, a 100% spun article. Because every single time it sends it, it's gonna be 100% unique. Now what I can do is I can click on the word best, and now hit the same spin, and look at most skilled, most amazing, and see how every time I actually add this, uh, local, uh, helpful, incredible. Now see, this is actually in green so that every time I actually send this out, it's gonna change the first word. So I can ch change the word find to that you can discover, that you can locate. Um, so now every time it chooses this title, it's gonna change the words randomly. So let's take a look now. Once I'm gonna click on the rewrite article, so you can see three ways to find great, a great dentist in Atlanta. So that was my second one over here. Now I'm simply going to hit it again. The most amazing dentist that you can locate in Atlanta. So if I hit it again, you can see most amazing dentist that you can find. Three ways to find. Now I chose the other one. Now you can see helpful dentist that you can discover in Atlanta, Georgia. So you can see, you know, it's completely 100% unique every time I send it out. So that's pretty much it. There's not a real difficult thing you need to learn. It's simply going to take the words and spin them. Now, the great thing about Magic Article Rewriter is you've got this great little star here, which is apply the magic. And when I do this, watch what happens. It's gonna take all the different words that it finds in its database, and it's gonna automatically add them. So you can see ways got changed to methods, find got, it, it, it was discovered, great and nice were added as well. Now, if you want to even go deeper, Let's say you can see the most amazing. I can even click on amazing and I can say wonderful, awesome, incredible, marvelous. And so that's in pink. So every time it actually chose the first title 
it would spin, it would choose randomly between the green, but when it chose the, this one, which is the most amazing, it would randomly choose between most amazing, most wonderful, most awesome, most incredible. So you can see here the ability to create 100% unique content is very, very easy to do. So when we go in here, now I'll, let me open up Magica um, Submitter here real quick. And now when we actually click on an item and we add an item, and let me do, uh, let me do an article. You can see if this is my title, all I'm gonna do is copy it and paste it into my title area. There you go, and it's automatically spun, so every time this article gets sent out, it will have a 100% unique title every single time. So hopefully that helps you in how to actually use Magic Article Writer and Spin Technology. So you're simply gonna create it. Now, th this is the most powerful feature, I believe. And so I believe that everything else is super, super simple to use as long as you do this up front. So if you're creating an article, you can use the same article in a WordPress blog, you can use the same Word article blog into other blogs like HubSpot and everything else. So if you actually create one really well spun article, you can use it in all kinds of services. So what do I mean by that? Let me just review it one more time. So just in case you're a little um, new to the uh, technology. So if I create an article and I 100% spin it because of the, you know, most articles are about 400 words, you literally have thousands and thousands of combinations. So you can use that exact same article in a blog, you could use it in a uh, WordPress blog, and you could even use the title uh, in the bookmarking. So creating a 100% unique spun article with its title and all the different features is gonna be the first step to creating successful content that'll get you lots of backlinks. So, and what I wanna do is give you my formula for actually creating a really great article. And this not only is a formula for creating great articles, so that you can create great spun content, but also a great article so that you will actually get people to pick up the phone or email you or buy your products and services. And inside uh, Magic Submitter, you'll see some fantastic training called Content Marketing Genius. And in Content Marketing Genius, I reveal my formula, which is called the HP to formula. So we've got H, P, I, T, and A. And the H stands for headline. So in every single Thing that you create you must have a compelling headline and then what we want to do is build rapport with the person that we're that's either watching our video or reading our articles and we we actually up front we want to state the problem so Steve stands for problem I stands for illustrate the problem we want to illustrate the problem and then we want to give a takeaway and a takeaway is simply giving some value, giving some tips, giving some insights. So we want to talk about the problem for a couple sentences. We want to illustrate the problem. We want to bring that to life, what it really means, how will it really affect you, how does it home for your business or family or issue that you're struggling with. And then we have some takeaways. We want to give some tips, some insights, some fantastic, um, you know, you don't want to give the whole, it's called potato chip marketing. You want to give the entire bag of potato chips away. You just want to give one or two tips. And then you, more importantly than anything else, want to have a call to action. Now, the reason why most people don't get the sale is because simply they don't ask for the sale. So we want to give a great call to action here. Now, let me give you a few tips inside this. In the head, in the problem, you want to actually state the problem and you want to allude to the takeaway. Um, and when you do that, you will have a brilliant summary. And what I mean by that is, for instance, let's say our problem is um, dentist Atlanta. Uh, so the problem would, the headline would be how to find a great dentist in Atlanta. The problem would be, you know, the problem with finding a really good dentist in Atlanta is there are hundreds to choose from, but not every single dentist specializes in the type of dentistry that you need. And so what we like to do is give some great tips on how to find a great dentist in Atlanta. So that's my problem. So see, I actually stated the problem and that I alluded to what's coming up. I alluded to this takeaway. Now the great thing about it, if you do it that way, you've got a brilliant summary. So all you have to do is copy and paste your problem into the summary. So what do I mean by summary? A lot of different article directories will ask you for a summary of what the article is about. So 
let me uh, just open up Magic Submitter here real quick again. So let's go under Articles and click Manage Items. Well, let's add one here. And you can see you've got the title and what the next thing you is your summary. So if you actually create a really good problem, like I just shared with you there, or you jump into Magic Submitter's Help section, click on Content Marketing Genius, and go through the HP to formula that we teach in there, you can see that the body is really the illustrate and the takeaway. And the resources are the call to action. So it fits perfectly if you follow this formula and it's just simply copy and paste when it's all said and done. So let me go back to the action. Now the action is a couple things. First of all, a call to action, you need to at least have one link, maybe two links tops in there. And different uh, article directories allow different types of links you can put in. But the great thing is, is if you separate out the action at the bottom, you can allow this article to be used in your blogs and in your articles because articles have something what's called a resource box. They don't allow typically you to put links inside the article itself. So if you actually end with your takeaway right here with an article, you can simply copy and paste that um, call to action and that becomes your resource box. So let me just share with you again what that looks like. If we go and click on manage items and we you would copy your title, see your summary, then the body would be your problem, your illustrate, and your takeaway. So really it is the summary. So, so you put those three in your body, and then you've got your resource box, which is your takeaway, and then your article keywords. And again, we'll do more training on this later, but I just want to give you a quick formula that when you're setting up your articles, I think it's very powerful to follow this HP to formula. It's something that has been incredibly successful for us in every single piece of content that we create and also gives you a great guideline so that when you're creating content you don't get lost in the craziness of just blah blah kind of throwing up all over people when you're creating an article or create some content and then what it does it actually segments the process as well so you can easily put this problem as a summary and use your call to action as a resource so again if you like more information on this you can always go into the help section uh, in, in your software and we go in great great detail about this formula so but the bottom line is that's how you use spin technology and at the bottom of this video we're going to give you a link that you can actually if you don't have it you can buy magic article rewriter for yourself so everybody should have a copy it's brilliant I've been using it for years it's the only software I use so that's it for your spin technology training let's jump into the next training which will teach you step by step each individual item and how to use them to get a tremendous amount of authority and backlinks so you can start ranking at the top of Google. Take care and we'll see you soon.